Behind me here, I've got two freestanding shelters from Nemo Equipment. The Dagger Osmo two-person tent coming in at a weight of four pounds, two ounces, and the Dragonfly Osmo two-person tent coming in at a weight of three pounds, two ounces. I want to go through the differences, the similarities of these two fantastic options for backpacking and camping. Now the standout feature shared between these two tents is the Osmo fabric. The Osmo fabric is new for Nemo and it is a polyester and nylon blended fabric which makes it very strong but also in rain situations it's not going to have quite as much stretch. Now in order to really understand the differences between these two tents you got to take off the rain fly to see the structure and the body of the tent. Now these are both defined as two-person tents. However, one is better for solo use and the other truly does work as a great two-person tent. But let's look at the Dragonfly first. Now this has a tapered design to it, meaning that you have your head end at a 50 inch width and as you move down to the foot end of the tent it gets to 45 inches. Now that's not necessarily a huge issue but if you are trying to get two people into the tent, you do have to be mindful of the size of sleeping pads you are trying to use inside of the tent, meaning that two 25 inch wide rectangular pads are not going to work effectively in this tent, which my experience of using the Dragonfly, this is a palace for one person, but for two people, I would look at it as pretty tight. Yes, you could absolutely make it work, but this would not be my ideal choice. I would rather carry the extra pound of weight and take the dagger for more living space, which we'll talk about here in just a second. You've got 41 inches of peak height. You've got 88 inches of length. So tall people are gonna be able to use this just fine. But again, the living space inside of this tent is reduced. Now you've got a really wide bridge pole here that just makes for pretty vertical walls. Now they're not totally vertical from top down, but at the head end of the tent, your ability to sit up and enjoy enough space to move around is definitely there. And it's a very livable two-person tent. Now in contrast for the dagger, you've got 50 inches of width for the entire length of the floor. And that's just awesome in terms of actual living space inside of this tent for two people. Because of that symmetry, you can sleep in different orientations depending on what your preference is. That is the key for being able to say that this is a true two-person tent. You've got 50 inches of width, you can get two 25-inch wide rectangular pads in here, and you've got still plenty of space at the ends for you to place gear and things depending on how you choose to use the tent. It's a fantastic option when you are truly looking to put two people in the same tent. Inside of the Dragonfly here, you've got plenty of space for one person to move around. This thing is a palace for one person. Now I'm sitting pretty close to the back of the tent, but if I shift to the side and act as if there were two people in here, I'm gonna be in my partner's space as I'm trying to change and I'm moving around and I'm pulling a jacket on or changing my shirt, whatever it is. So being upright, both of you at the same time is probably not the ideal situation. But let me just reiterate, you can absolutely make two people work inside of the Dragonfly. Now feature-wise, inside of the tent, you've got some pretty cool stuff going on here. You've got these nightlight pockets for you to put your headlamp in to act as a lantern. You've got a big pocket here at the top of the tent for you to store all sorts of gear items. You've got another pocket at the foot end that is really nice to store things that you want to get off of the floor of the tent. And it is a great way to maximize the storage inside of the tent and get stuff off of the ground. And I think that they really thought about that as a nice feature option when you've got two people inside of the tent. You don't always have to be putting your stuff on the floor of the tent or in the vestibules. You can get it up into these gear lofts, which is a really nice feature. You've got these pockets here on the sides that are big enough for your phone to sit in, and you don't have pockets down low 
that are against the floor of the tent, and I like that aspect a lot as well. So now here inside of the dagger, there's just so much more living space. You've got this nice black mesh here on the top panels of the mesh of the tent. So on really nice nights, you're able to look out and keep the rain fly off and be able to stargaze. And then you've got some privacy mesh here on the sides of the tent that are this white color, makes it less see-through. And that is shared between both tent models but you don't have as much gear storage options here in this tent. You've got a nightlight pocket here at the head end, and then you've got some small stash pockets on either end for you to place the gear for uh, each person that would be in here, but you don't have any gear loft kind of situations inside of this tent. With the rain flies on the tents now, note that both of these tents are double wall shelters, meaning that you have the inner tent and then the outer rain fly. So you're going to mitigate condensation being an issue of getting your gear wet because of that. But it is important to note that there's very little venting with these two tents. What you have as an option is a vent at the zipper of the rain fly for you to open up and get a little bit of air movement. Now it's not as big of a deal with the dragonfly in my opinion because here at the head end of the tent you've got a big scooped type of opening on the rain fly which is going to allow a bit more airflow through the head end of the tent and then with those vents open on the rain fly you're going to be able to move air through the tent that way but you don't have any kind of a peak vent or anything else besides the zipper of the rainfly for venting. Now on the dagger, you don't have anything like you do on the dragonfly. You've got a much more full coverage rainfly here. And so I think that the air movement through the dagger is not going to be as great. And so with two people in here, it's gonna be really important for you to get those vents open on the rain fly or in really nice weather uh, conditions for you to just have the door open completely and not have to worry about that so much as you would with the dragonfly where you've got a bit more venting as an option. The vestibule space and the door entry into the dagger is one of my favorite things about this tent. You've got this really big wide opening that's available for you to roll back this door that is centered on the opening and it creates a really nice wide open space for you to get in, get organized and you don't have as big of an issue getting in and out of the tent as you do some other options. And if necessary, I can even loosen this one side and I can roll this back all the way because I've got a toggle right here for me to pull this back and really open that up to maximize the amount of ventilation and just open up the tent a bit more. Now it's not only that one side, but I can also do it on all sides of the door. And this is something that I feel like any tent should have the ability for you to completely roll back both door sides so that in really nice weather, you can completely open things up, have the rain fly on, so in the event that you do have rain come in overnight, it's very easy for you to very quickly deploy the rain fly and have all of that protection that you need from your tent. And these super cool little clips here make it so fast, so easy, and I love, love that part of the vestibule for the dagger. Another really cool feature that's included with the dagger is you've got this piece of fabric that's a little bathtub floor called the landing zone. This attaches to the body of the tent in a triangle and the rain fly 
that gives you a clean and dry place for you to put gear items that you absolutely want to keep as clean and dry as possible. And the one downside to the landing zone is if you do want to roll back this side of the door, then you've got to unclip this from the rainfly and then all of that stuff is now exposed to the elements. But if you are just rolling back the door as I have it now, that provides that landing zone area for you to put those things. And it still makes it really easy for you to get in and out of the tent without any issues. It's not in the way, super cool. So on the Dragonfly here, you've got very similar features as you do on the Dagger. The difference being here on the Rainfly zipper as opposed to being an arc that comes around and you've got usable space on both sides. You've got a straight zipper that goes up and then on the opening for the door, this just rolls back all the way. You've got a really simple keeper here for you to do that nice and easy. And you've got a D-shaped door on the Dragonfly here. But one of the key things that really stands out about the Dragonfly, even as a one person or a two person tent, because this is symmetrical on both sides with two doors, two vestibules, you've got a huge vestibule on this side of the tent. So easy to put your backpack and such. And oftentimes with the vestibule where the fabric of the Rainfly comes down so steep on one side, it presses against your backpack that you've got standing up straight inside of the vestibule. And what happens in that case is rain comes down, the rain fly then stretches, and then it just sags and sits on the bag and then condensation moves from the rain fly onto your stuff. It gets everything wet. It's just not an ideal situation. So this trapezoidal shape that you've got on the rain fly here for the dragonfly pulls that fabric out away a bit and increases the amount of space with a very, very, very minor weight penalty. I can actually even roll this door back even more like I can on the dagger. I can open the tent up as much as I want that way. And then here I've still got a little bit of coverage from the rainfly, but like I can on the dagger, you just continue to roll this back even more and use this other toggle to then completely open up the side of the tent, maximize ventilation, easy access in and out of the tent, and just have a great experience from that. But then in bad weather events, I can very quickly, very easily deploy the entire rain fly. Get it all zipped up and in that very short period of time, I'm now protected from the weather that would be coming in and potentially getting stuff wet. So now the big question to ask is which of these two tents is the right one to choose? Well, it comes down to the use case. What are you trying to accomplish with the tent. If I am going to be going solo, a lot more often with the potential for occasional two people using the tent, then I'm going to suggest the Dragonfly as the best option because you maximize weight savings at being just over three pounds for your packed weight. You are reducing the cost a little bit at $499 for the Dragonfly and you've got something that is just going to be a fabulous performer in the backcountry. But if I find myself thinking I'm gonna be primarily having two people using the tent for majority of the trips that I go on, if that's the case, and you might just have occasional solo trips, this would be the better option, the dagger, because it just is designed to maximize the comfort for two people. You've got huge vestibules, you've got a symmetrical floor, you've got the ability to put two 25 inch wide rectangular pads inside of the tent. And when you split that weight between two people, 
you're at about two pounds per person to carry this tent. And you've got something that is just gonna be so comfortable for two people. Now I have used the dagger as a solo shelter and I've taken my dog with me to make enough space for me and my dog. And when I know that I'm gonna be sitting out a storm or anything and I want to have the best comfort option possible, then the dagger is definitely the way to go. So that is my breakdown of the Nemo Dragonfly Osmo and the Nemo Dagger Osmo. Hopefully you found some value out of this comparison to help you narrow down which option is the best choice for you. Thanks for watching today, guys. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. Hope you have an awesome day. See you later.